Yes, it is October 1st. October baseball. Gotta love it. And October football, where the Jets and the Giants are stinking up the joint, which is normal for this time of year. Um, Z-Man, how you doing out there? Hi, Joe Cat. I can't believe it's like October 1st. Yeah, man. I had to pay my rent today. It is flying by. This year we is gotta, basically listen, flying over. We it's got crazy. we got to start. We got to keep bringing it hard, Joe, so I could pay my rent. No, you got it. You got it. We'll be working. Jake, how you doing up in Providence up there? Can't complain, you know, taking it one day at a time. Yep, exactly. That's, that's, that's all we best. can do. That's why he's the best producer out there. Yep, Man you got of it. little words. You got it. Before I start, I just want to say uh, our hearts go out to the people in western North Carolina and up in Virginia, man, I, I, I know I know people that have family up there and have, a, a, you know, it's been devastating up there. There's still people missing and the death toll is rising. It is really, really devastating and our prayers and hearts go out to everybody up there. So if you hear this and, and you know, just say a prayer for the people in western North Carolina, Virginia, as well as Florida. Um, where our, our buddy Tom Leslie's where our, where down our, there. Yeah, where our man Tommy Leslie's he's, down there. He's safe, though, safe and sound, but yep, there's people good, that are in bad just shape. It's a horrible situation. Yep. Red Cross, Redcross.org. There you go. Red Cross you is can there. Help people. They are Get the out best. There and help them. Absolutely. Redcross.org. You got it. Way to go, Z Man. All right, before we start with this show of Get Off the Chest, or I want to get off my chest. The worst horrible Jet game in recent memory. I don't care what you say. I don't care whose fault it was. I don't care what the excuses are. You cannot lose a home game to a rookie quarterback from a one and three, one and two team that has basically did nothing in the whole first half. And yep. all you had to do was get into field goal range, not once, but twice to win the game, and you can't do it. Now, oh, everybody's blaming everybody else. I take the whole kit and caboodle right from Aaron Rodgers right down to the water boy. The Jets screwed up royally. They could have started out the season 3-1, and one, looking pretty as they go, and get their they might get their butts kicked this weekend, by the way, from uh, Sam Darnold, their buddy, their old friend, who might just throw, I don't know, 450 yards on them and a few touchdowns. That would be nice, right? But I am so annoyed by that. That was the most annoying game other than last night, Miami and the Titans. Oh, my God, I had to turn that game off. But the Jets are a... Uh, they they just find a way. They're cursed, and it goes back to Joe Namath. When Joe Namath made a deal with the devil, Z-Man, he made a deal with the devil where the Jets will never win another Super Bowl for 100 years. I'm going to say 100 years. I'm not going to say forever, but I'll say 100 years. And and, and those what that's those are the curses. They last 100 years. Joe Cap. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Take a deep breath. I know. Oh. I don't want to have to call Gage and DeSoto from Squad 51. Yes. Rampart, Ringer, yes. D- D5W, Lactate, you know, <laughs> and, and like whatever that you. is. So, yeah, whatever, man. You know, they always remember, like, every time, man, like, okay, what do we do? Like, yep, start the patient with Ringer's Lactate, D5W, oh. and Transport, Squad 51, KMG, 365. Oh. I got- All right, listen. You go ahead. Take a deep breath. I know. Okay. All right. I'm. I'm I. I'm going to decompressing. Solve your pro- I'm going to solve your problem. You could solve that problem two. for sixty yep. years. Go ahead. I got two words for you. I Ready? Know gonna, I know what you're you going to say. Got your pen and piece of paper. I know what you're going to say. Go ahead. Okay, you don't, but I'm going to solve right. it. And I'm going to tell you another one. I think. Go ahead. Okay. Robert Sala. Three words. Okay. Robert. Okay. Sala. Fired. <laughs> Bill. I don't agree. Belichick. Don't disagree. Fired. Bill Be- Bill Belichick fired. Hired. No. Oh he, yeah. Hired. I was going to say. Hired. Listen. <laughs> listen. Okay. Start those ringers lactate D five. Yes, I got to start. Right, listen. Ringers. Here's another one for right. you. He he got listen. He Go got out coached. Oh, out coached. By a far oh, come superior. On. 
by a far superior coach. This guy coaching one oh one. I mean, this come guy on. Really, this guy really hasn't shown. Oh no, I'm not. I'm like, not a Sala guy. Like uh, uh, Robert Sala really hasn't shown much no. in his tenure. Absolutely in not. Absolutely not. Joe Douglas, for his part in the fiasco, really hasn't shown that much. Where I'm a, I love Aaron Rodgers. He's a 40 year old quarterback. He, he, and sack five the times, by the way. To, and the things that he used to be able to do, he's not able to do as much anymore. Of course. Because he can't move because of that Achilles. And of course. you're still seeing it with Kirk Cousins in Atlanta. Joe, get rid of Robert Sala. I, That'll move the Jets I don't I, I, I don't disagree with you. I'm not a big Robert Sala guy. I don't think he's a good head coach. First of all, it's not that he's not a good he is inexperienced. You need a head coach with experience to take a guy it, like Aaron Rodgers and let him do his thing. He's when he, your quarterback knows more than your coach. Right, right. Which you know what? In one way, you could say, "All right, well, uh, the the guy who runs the show is Aaron Rodgers anyway." But you know what? I mean, there are certain things that uh, you know. And then when after the game, oh, the cadence. This. What are you talking about? You blew that game. You should just be saying, "Hey." We blew that effing game. We sucked today. We Brees sucked Hall ran today. Ten times. Brees Hall ran 10 times for two yards. Brees Hall, you sucked today. All you had to say was, I suck today. Okay? No. And these guys Robert, think they can show up and win a fucking football game, and these guys show up and stink up the joint at home against a shitty team. All right. I'm, I'm, let me calm yeah, down. But, but, you know, now that you're calmed down, remember, yes. we – we have an email box where people can lay their opinions out there. Remember, yes, it's off the chest eighty four at yahoo.com. So That's it's right. off the chest eighty four at yahoo.com where you can solicit your opinions on this yes. and any other thing in the world that you want to talk about. Yes. Jake, what did you think about that? Same thing, man. They screwed up big time. Now, the only thing I'll give them is that this happens early on in the season instead of December where it really hurts you and you just you got it. You got to clean it up now before, you know, it, it comes time, you know, for the for the big dogs to eat. J Jake, that's an excellent point, because that's the one thing I kind of said to myself. I said, it's better. It happens now. Then you're right. Then down in December, and when they're when they're trying to get in the playoffs, and they lose a couple of big games, because you're right, this is better. It happens now than down the road. That's the only thing I said ab about that about it happening. But you're right, well, Jake. That's an excellent the point. Fans, at least for the local fans, fellas, the Giants at least played hard. Well, Thursday. the Giants, you don't expect them the to Cowboys go anywhere. Game. They could have beat the Cowboys. They could have yep, beat the Cowboys. I mean, I and and guess what? Daniel Jones wasn't the problem. Daniel Jones played great. He 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 had a, a he's been excellent better, game. Joe. Yes, he's he, been playing better. You know, I'm tired of reading the local media, listening to the local media. Oh, absolutely. Talk about this guy about how he sucks and yep. everything. He, he's really not the worst of their no, problems. No, he's not. Not at all. He's not the worst of their problems. Their defense has got to be better. I mean, everything's got to be better. Oh, they have no running game to speak of. I mean, you know, the kid they got, what's his name? Uh, the, the, he's, he wears the same number as, as uh, uh, what the heck's his name, the, the running back for the Giants? But anyway, they have Singletary. no. Yeah, he wears, this, wears the same number as Saquon. You know, Singletary, Saquon, yep. whatever. But he ain't no Saquon. But anyway, that's that's the Giants aren't expected to do much. If they go 500, that would be huge for the Giants. The Jets Boy, being... are expected to do much yeah. better. But, but, I mean, I like this year already, you're at the first quarter of the season. Right. And there's just a lot of things that are just crazy about the NFL. Like now, th since we talked last week, I think there was five undefeated teams. Now right. it's just Kansas City and Minnesota. Yeah, I and know. I'm going to tell you right now, even though it's not going to be part of my run to the end zone picks this week, of which I'm three and one boys on the season so far. The Jets are going to beat the Vikings. And don't be Z Man with the call. TV. Yes. Don't be surprised on national TV if the Saints beat the Chiefs. And then there were none.
but they're not part of my run to the end zone. It, we, I, we're going to save that for a little bit. Save but that to the end. Right now, both those undefeated teams are going down this week. You got it. All right, so we got the Mets and the Yanks that are in the playoffs. The Mets finally get in. They're playing as we speak. Uh, they might pull out a, a game one win. They're still playing right now. Uh, Moses, our, Moses, our social media director, is uh, you know is is basically sitting on his hands watching the game. Um, but he feel he's feeling good right now because I think they're up eight four, and Detroit won today, so they yep. beat the Astros. I hate the Astros probably almost as much, you know, almost as much as the Red Sox. It's pretty damn close. I hate the Astros almost as much. Well, as what the Red you're Sox. seeing right now, you're just seeing teams that were hot at the end of the year. Right, they're just carrying it. Yeah, like exactly. The Royals and the Tigers. The Royals beat the, the Orioles. That's right. These the Orioles lost. Teams, yep. These young teams know no fear. No, exactly. The the, the KC and they got that kid. Uh, uh, you know who's who's Bobby point, Witt. Bobby Witt Jr. Who is yep. like a, a, a tre- he's tremendous. He's tremendous. I mean, the guy would be if it wasn't for the judge, he'd be MVP. And if it wasn't yeah. for him, Judge would be but, triple crown. So I, I think, but yes, that I agree with that a thousand percent. And that's yeah. one of the things that's wrong with Major League Baseball is because when you look at your year-end awards, you have most valuable players, and then guys that are truly deserving of a high-ranking award don't get it. Like he'll get nominated. Yeah. With, Witt will come in second. Yep. He'll get all the second place. Oh, he'll get all guys. of them. He'll get all of them. And he, sh- and he deserves the them. League. He deserves them. But, you know, let's let's face facts. In the American League, Judge had, like, a monumental season. He had 322. Yeah. I mean, what could he do? He had home runs, 144 RBIs. Come on. Yeah. His, his OPS was over 1,000. It was 1. The, 1.15. Yeah, those are, are you me? Gehrig Ruth numbers. Baseball. He was 10.8. Yep. You can't make an argument for him. No, you in can't. In the National League, you can't make an argument for Otani. Yeah, I mean, I mean did, Francisco Lindor Francisco Lindor any other year would be up. I mean, he's, he's, they talk about it like he's having an MVP. He is having, he's having an MVP type year. Well, he had the big I'm homer there yesterday. Be like another award, like the Jackie yeah. Robinson Award. Or something like yeah. that for like the most valuable yeah, player. Then, or like the you know what? The then it's like, uh, here's your participation trophy. You know what I mean? No, come that, on. no way, man. No, uh, come no, because on, we man. no, Joe. Because uh, we can I don't spend. Know. Listen to me. We can spend <laughs> a whole nother show. I know. I'm Joey Otani. Yeah, oh and boy, the fact that go. he's going to be the first designated hitter in the history of Major League Baseball to win a Most Valuable Player award. But, Big Poppy didn't win one. Well, didn't Big Poppy win one? I don't think so. No, I don't know. I don't I think don't he was. Jake, yeah. yeah, check that out, Jake. All right, Jake, I'm you gotta check it right now. Check it out. Big Poppy, I did he win an MVP award as thing, a DH? Joe. I think he did. But but here's the thing what? about Shohei Otani. What? He was a full time DH. Okay. Yep. He so that allows him to excel offensively because he's not taking his like shortcomings into the field. Yeah, he no, absolutely. Have to exert en- I, energy on the other side. I, now, wait, I agree. Up, I agree up. with that. Now, if you had like a Jackie Robinson award or like a Roberto Clement, like most valuable player in each league for Lindor this year, without Francisco Lindor, the Mets would have been cooked. Right. The eyes don't lie. And yesterday's performance in Game One Sixty One was the proof. No, if it I wasn't for this guy. I agree. He'd be sitting home. I agree. Most important player, most valuable player, and he plays the most yeah. important. Well, there you go. MIP on the field, other than catcher, he right. plays shortstop. Yep. And this guy's out there every week. Doing every week. Wait, what am I talking about? Yeah, every, like every, every day, day, every other day. At doing least. his thing. Yeah. No, absolutely. So I can't for, agree for with you most, more. Like for a most outstanding player, there should be one because he would, in my eyes, he would surpass Otani this year. Otani, uh, don't even get me started. It's it, it just like yeah, no, I get you. Is singing I get this you. guy's praises because he's a global. Cash, yeah, no, absolutely. This guy hasn't won anything yet. 
And because he was a one-dimensional player this year, he was able to stay healthy. He stole 59 bases. Right. He had 310, 54 home runs, 130 RBIs. You know, I'm not taking this away from it. It's a great year. It's a once-in-a-lifetime year. I, I would... That being said, yep. if I had a vote in the National League, I'm voting for Lindor as the most valuable player, and Lindor will get every second place. Vote. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. He'll finish second. Yeah, no, 50-50, put him over the top. But I would love to see San Diego who I think has their number, knock them right out. And you know what? The Dodgers are a paper tiger. They're, they're like, oh, everything is wonderful. They, have no Everyone, they haven't won shit. They won during that uh, 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 year where it was the COVID sh- sh- year. That was bullshit. Come on, man. You got to play whole they, season. The Dodgers have no pitching. Yeah. You're going to see this wild card round series. They're going to get knocked me, off. This is going to be some of the best baseball you're going to see. I can't. Yeah. These I'm, teams... These teams that were desperate yep, yep. that finished the season on Sunday, are, the young teams are more than happy to be in these playoffs. They know no, no fear. They're playing on the house money. That means the the Tigers, the Royals, the Mets. And I'm going to tell you something. I have a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky suspicion that – the Braves, by having the struggle and claw, are going to go to San Diego and give them everything they want. Now, no, since the advent of this new series, wild card series of Major League Baseball, there hasn't been a three game series hmm. in these new playoffs. There hasn't been a team that's gone to three games. Oh, I was going to say that gone that, to three games. Yeah, right. That this series, the Braves and the, and the Padres will. Oh, I don't know about that. I think the, the that's the eight thirty game, right? Adrenaline. Okay, yeah, they're, they're, that's the late game tonight. Yeah, that's a late game. Yeah, that's cool. They're I'll playing. They're playing on adrenaline. Don't be surprised if they give the Padres a game. And remember, the winner of that series goes to Los Angeles. Exactly. The winner of the Mets Brewers goes to Philadelphia. And you can't sit here and tell me that the Phillies, even though they had the second best record in the National League this year, you can't tell me that the if the, let's say the Mets win this series. The Mets are running on the house money, man. That's the most dangerous animal going because you yep. know no fear and you don't care because you started with nothing and you could just yep. as soon leave with nothing. Yep, And that's, that's right. how they're playing right now. J- Jake, did you find anything about Big Poppy? I did. So although he did not win a regular season MVP, he has won a – uh, World Series MVP. Okay, then there you go. World Series MVP. I'm sorry, I know he did what? some. He won a World Series. I'm sorry, Joe, what? <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, Joe, what? <laughs> what? Uh, what? Wait, uh, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> what? Uh, 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 we're just going to move on All to something right. else? Let's move uh, on. I want to make... You make... Joe, before we forget, Joe, wait, before we forget, <laughs> what? let's go to what? my run to the end zone. Oh, we're yes. Run to the end zone with our premium picks this week let's go and that's from our our first our friends at the end at the end zone park avenue mechanicsville scotty rinaldi larry grayson mechanicsville new york baby they're they're some of our biggest cheerleaders they want me you and jake in the house to run one of these shows i might have to go up there take a drive up asking me for a poster I'm like, you really, I'm like, if you wanted a poster of me, you should have just went to the post office and taken it off the wall because I'm sure there's one in there. <laughs> All right, Zeba, what do you got? Okay, because we're not going to have a show next week, right. I'm going to give you two in college, two in the NFL. Perfect. Okay? So in the NFL this week, I no drum roll. We got to get some sound effects. Hold on. That's for you, Z, man. Oh, okay, it sounds uh, right. sound like a shower. There yeah, you go. Taking a, yeah, yeah, you're taking a shower. Hold on, i got to take a shower. All right, I'm taking a shower. Well, I'm not taking a bath just yet, Joe, <laughs> because I'm 3-1 this year. Hi-yo. All right, so what we're going to do is. Go ahead. What we're, yeah, yeah, thanks. Thanks, Ed McMahon. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what we're going to do in the NFL, our first game, yep. we're going to take the Cowboys plus two and a half on oh, Sunday night. Oh, the boys. At Pittsburgh. All right. Here's why. Everybody and their brother has been singing the Steeler praise right. about that defense. That right. defense got torched by Joe Flacco, a career mm. journeyman backup 
on Sunday. That's right. Where the okay? So yeah. now, so now the Cowboys coming off a Thursday win at the Meadowlands, travel again on extended rest and go to Pittsburgh on national TV, and you're going to give me two and a half to start with. Give me the Cowboys all day. Okay. My second pick in the NFL is a don't make sense game. I'm going to take the Jags minus two over those Colts. Okay. Okay. The Colts coming off of something big. The Jags are on four, getting ready to flush their season down the toilet. Oh, Give me the yeah. Jags minus two at home to hold the four against the Colts. So in the NFL, we're going to go with the Cowboys plus two and a half. And the Jags minus two. I, I can't believe the Jags are actually favored. I mean, are you kidding me? That's why I like them. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's exactly yeah, why I, I guess, like them. Yeah, that's, yeah, you go. Well, there I think go. it's Makes because sense. they're a home team. You yeah. get three to the home team. It's Backs less against than the wall. So they're telling you the Colts yeah. are live, but it's their back against the wall. They have to win this game. I'm going to tell you right now if the Jags go south, not only are our listeners going to hate me. But I think Doug Peterson's going to get fired. Yeah, well, it, he's definitely on the hot seat, no question about it. All right, what do you got for college football? All right, in college football, I'm going to give you Louisville, minus 6.5 at home against SMU. Louisville mm. gave Notre Dame a good game. Yeah, they did. On Saturday afternoon. That game was a lot closer than the score indicated. It was like 34-24, I believe. Right. Um, I like Louisville's multi-dimensional offense. Their home. And it's a short price, less than a touchdown. I'm going to lay it against SMU with the Louisville Cardinals. And then my don't make sense game of the week, Go I'm going to take the Texas A&M Aggies minus two at home to Missouri. You have a top 10 team, Missouri. Yeah, Missouri's Making good. points on mm. the road. Mm. When you see something like that, somebody knows something that we don't. I'm giving out. Texas A&M. So you're taking minus Texas A&M two. minus two. Against Missouri. Last week, got it. we came out with Baltimore. That was an easy jog on Sunday night against the Bills. We stumbled with Kansas. They were ahead 24-21 going into the fourth quarter. Got beat by 13. What are you going to do? And we also had the Giants on Thursday night, plus five and a half. Right. Why that guy decided to kick a 56-yard field goal at the end of the game. Yeah, that really. Just go, that just goes to talk about money. Yeah, exactly. The, the, the aspect of legalized gambling Unbelievable. is taking over our professional and college sports. Well, college it's sports is now professional. So. Before we see something. Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, you know, it's funny you mention that, Z-Man, because I want to mention Mr. Pete Rose passed away yesterday. Who was and I am in the on the uh, fence on the I'm on one side of the fence where I believe he should have been in the Hall of Fame all along or at some point during his life. Now he dies, the poor guy dies, and you know they're going to put him in posthumously or whatever, however you say that. And it to me, it's 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 a shame because he was arguably the greatest hitter, all time hitter. I mean, you might want to say Ted Williams, Ty Cobb. I never saw those dudes play. But I saw Pete Rose play, and that effing guy, 4,200 hits for whatever the number is, is insane. That's 20 years of 200 hits a year. Just think about it. You got to go 20 years, 20 years with 200 hits a year to get to 4,000. Do the effing math. And it's crazy because nobody's going to break that record. Everybody thinks of 56 game hits. Here you go, blah, blah, blah. That, nobody's going to break that record. Nobody, because nobody's playing for 20 years at all, period. And 200 hits for 20 years? In impossible. Anyway. It's, it's, you know what, Joe? This we could. This is another another topic that we could spend a whole Oh, I know. Show yeah, on. It's, it is. And by the way, right. watch watch the uh, the uh, HBO Max uh, documentary on Rose. Did you see that yet, Z-Man? No, I haven't Excellent. seen that yet. Excellent. You got to check it out. I have strong opinions on this as well. No, I and know. Like, I'm not Everybody's got strong opinions. I know. Yeah, I'm not of the popular opinion. But right. by the way, Joe, once again, off the chest, 84, 84. at yahoo.com. That's right. We want to know what you think. Yep. Off the chest, 84, at yahoo.com for your email comments, suggestions, whatever you want to lay on us. My thoughts are this, man. Yeah, send us an email. Come on, man. My, my thoughts are this on this guy. 
Somebody was a 17-time All-Star. Somebody had 4,256 hits. Somebody played in 3,562 games. Somebody went to bat 14,053 times. Somebody had 3,215 singles. Somebody won the Most Valuable Player Award in 1973. Somebody was a three-time World Series champion. There is no denying at all what this guy did on the field. Right. For people like yourself and myself who are of that era, this guy was one of our heroes. Everybody knew who Charlie Hustle was. Everybody. Yep. Back in the 70s. Everybody knew him. You either loved him or you hated him. There was no middle ground. None. No, I'm not going to debate what a great baseball player this is. You're right. But he broke the, the cardinal code. rule. No, the cardinal rule. Right. When you go to major league baseball clubhouses, on the wall is the law for major league baseball about betting. Since, on, yep. yep. Since the Black Sox, since the Black but, Sox scandal. But here's, but here's the thing. We can't, like, say because this guy passed and, like, everybody's screwing this guy uh, because he's not in the Hall of Fame. He is in the Hall of Fame. His bat, his glove, yeah. his hat, his spikes, some of the balls, that the forty two fifty six ball, he's in the Hall of Fame. He just doesn't have a plaque. Yeah, I... So here's my point. Here's my point. We live in a society of hypocrites. Oh, complete. I agree with that. But whether forgive. what about forgiveness? Forgiveness. Whether, whether it's I- ideology, politics, what, you know, economics, we are a bunch of hypocrites. When Major League Baseball can go out and sell its soul now. Yeah. To bet MGM. Thank you. To FanDuel, to ESPN Bets. Yep. Who are, by the way, ESPN covering the Major League Baseball playoffs. Yep. DraftKings, when they can sell their soul to these people for the added money, shame on them. Absolutely. Pete Rose was given the opportunity by A. Bartlett Giamatti to come clean, and he was offered a 10 year suspension. And after that, everything was going to be wiped clean. He was going to be allowed to come back to baseball, meaning he could have, you know, been an announcer. And that he was the bet on mentor. his own team. Was that the, the deal? He was going to. He, he was betting admit, on his own team. So he had wanted to admit that. That was the deal where Tsiamati said, if you. Yeah, he didn't admit, want to admit that he was betting on baseball. Okay. But when you're betting, when you're the manager of a team and you're betting, let's say you're betting on your team. Right, but he Don't said he was betting to win. Say, well, he was only betting on his team. He was never <laughs> to win. Betting to win, yeah. Yet. Yeah, yeah. Because when I you know. bet on your team, you control I, the game. No, I, When you I, take the honesty and yeah. the integrity out of the game, you're screwing everybody. Yeah, no. So this guy is complicated. It is. Bottom it ain't line easy. is, bottom line is, if you let scumbags like Bud Seelig, who was the commissioner, through the steroid air. Yeah. Exactly. There are people in the Hall of Fame that were bigots, that hated to play with Jackie Robinson, didn't want them there. There are people yeah. like Ty Cobb, white beaters. Absolutely. They're, they're like steroid. You can't tell me there's not steroid guys in the Hall of Fame. No question. We The Major League Baseball is a bunch of hypocrites. Create a wing in the Hall, put Pete Rose in, but on his plaque, don't as much as you sing the virtues, you have to sing the negative. Same with Barry Bonds, Roger Clemens, A-Rod. Somebody hit 763 home runs. You can't wipe that out. Somebody did that. Somebody won seven Cy Young Awards. Somebody hit 698 home runs. You know, like somebody hit 70 home runs in a year. You can't, it, it happened. You can't wipe it out. So instead of wiping it out, 
embellish the fact that it happened, but give it its own place. You don't have to put these plaques in. Well, with like big rooms and he, well, here's the and thing. He, he died. And, so right. even if you were to let him in the Hall of Fame, it 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 doesn't matter. It now. doesn't matter because you his can't son see it. would show up and his right. son would be grateful and all that. But for him, you know, and when you if you see that documentary, you know, I saw Pete Rose. Listen to this. We were in Las Pete Vegas. Rose, right? Yeah, no, I saw him play. Forget that. But I saw Pete Rose in Las Vegas in the hallway of the Mirage Hotel, not the lobby. The hallway of the Mirage, they have like this little kind of, you know, mall area. It was kind of sad. He was sitting by himself. He had some stuff that he wanted to sign. He was selling. It, it, I felt really sorry for him. I, I I was like, wow, that's Pete Rose. That's the greatest hitter I've ever seen. And he's sitting there by himself trying to hawk some signed baseballs and stuff. And I was just like, you know what? It, it sucks. It sucks. But, but on the converse, Joe, what are you on do? the converse, he did it to himself. Yeah, I know. I know. So he, that's what I'm he wasn't like, the greatest. You know, he wasn't an angel. He wasn't a, you know, choir boy. A lot of I people get all that didn't shit. like Pete Rose. I know. A lot of people didn't yeah, like him. You know, him and Johnny Bench. Him and Johnny Bench. They didn't get yeah, along Johnny Bench, for shit. Did you see what Johnny Bench said today? Johnny he Bench say? released an unbelievable say? Yeah. statement. What did he say? Let me, uh, this is what he said. He goes, there will never be another like Pete Rose. He battled his entire life, making it to the big leagues on determination and grit. He wanted to win every game and get three. No, make that four. No, actually five hits every day. Yeah. He won batting title because he had the desire and the goal. He wanted Ty Cobb's record. He also said this. Will we ever see this again? 13 seasons of 190 plus hits, 35, 62 games played, 59, 29 times on base, rookie of the year, all star, gold glover, silver slugger, MVP, and World Series champion. A local kid from Cincinnati who became a king. We were teammates, business partners, and more importantly, in spite of what everyone thought, we were friends. I will miss him dearly. That's what Johnny awesome. Bench said. That's awesome. Classy. Awesome. All right, let's wrap it up. Yeah, and then you had Major League Baseball come out and issue a statement how we're we're sorry for him or whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. I mean, Johnny Bench was good. That's good. I mean, the guy played along with him, and they weren't the best of friends, but you know what? He respected him. But anyway, another another person I just want to mention real quick was Dikemi Mutombo passed away, and that guy was um, what I loved about him most. Forget about basketball. This dude built hospitals and in in africa he built a uh, uh, water like like uh, uh you know like aqueducts and 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 hot like i'm talking about like infrastructure in africa out of his own pocket for people in africa like that's the kind of guy you're like holy crap that is that you know that's he, we, we don't hear enough of that no we only no hear about the bad things exactly we hear about we hear about the good things. So, yeah, rest in peace. Rest man. in hey, peace. How about 50? Hey, how about this, man? What? 50 years of Saturday Night Live. Oh, yeah. That's almost our entire I, life. And I'm loving know. it. I just, I, I'm just i like one third through the first episode. I haven't watched the whole thing, but yeah, it about, is hysterical. Where did get Gene Smart from? Oh, I don't so, know. Like, she was the host. Uh, she I'm, was on that. Oh, she was on Hacks. Women. She's on Hacks. Some show called Hacks. It's on I, HBO. I never, I, never, I, never, I never watch it. She looks like, oh, you know, she's it, one of those. It always comes in threes, too, Joe. Yeah. John Amos passed. Oh. This week, remember good times. Oh, John Amos, yeah, remember him, man. all right, that's remember enough. That then, no good more times. deaths, no more deaths. Yeah, all right, one more one thing. thing, one more thing before we leave. I got it from an inside source that who, who's my nephew, who's very good friends uh, with uh, Ravel Martin, who used to play for the Packers. He's buddies with Aaron yep, Rodgers. I remember and, him. You remember Ravel? He lives down here in yep. Charlotte. Good friends with my my nephew John Costello. Anyway. He texted me just before we st- the show started that he goes, I got words on the street that Devontae Adams, they're trying to work a deal for him to go to the Jets. So just keep that in well, the back of your mind. For that for two years, that's going to be big. But you know yeah. what? I just think the Jets have like little bigger problems. Called oh, no, Rodgers they do. But you know what? You might as well. You, you're only going to have Aaron Rodgers for so long, so you might as well give him Devontae Adams too. And All right. By the time you come back, Joe, good luck to the Rangers because the oh, NHL yeah. starts next week. Yes, we're going to have a lot to talk about when we come back. I want to thank everybody. I want to thank the End Zone Restaurant in Mechanicsville. Go there, watch football, mention our show, and you get what's a our, uh, you your, get a frick, free chicken wing. <laughs> no, I just I want Miller Lite. Listen, Miller Lite. Stop begging. Miller Lite. I want my free Miller Lite. And what's, what's and our, what's our what's our email? Z man, off the chest eighty four. That's off. 
the chest, the number eight four at yahoo.com. It's right. about time we start hearing from people. And and I think I'm gonna check with our social media director Moses to find out. I think we might be on YouTube. But I don't know. I don't, we might we might have a YouTube channel, but who we knows? We might be on Spotify before, we, when you come yeah. back. We and we're gonna get yeah, we're gonna get on Spotify. So just hang in there and and just keep listening and spread the word. Jake, anything you need to say before we leave? Oh, that's it. How about the Knicks trade? I forgot the Knicks trade. Do you like oh, it? Oh, you can't forget about that. I love the Knicks trade. I think Cat will be uh, at least an addition. While we have Mitchell Robinson out, he's gonna help. I mean, are you kidding me? Yeah, you. You love it, Dad, but I, I love gotta it. say, I think you love it a little too much. Uh, let's, let's see. Let's, let's, let's just hope. see it for what it is. I, you, know you know what? what? I, I love it too because he's going to spread the floor. And believe me when yep. I tell you, my source in the NBA from the NBA offices in there New York is telling me that the Knicks aren't done yet. They're Ooh. looking at DeAndre Ayton from the Portland Trail Blazers. They're looking wow. for another center as well. Ooh, DeAndre Ayton. Mm. Yep. Well, if they don't have, if, the listen, are going for give it. them, give up picks, but not. I, I don't want to, you know, wipe out our, our bench because we do have a strong bench, and I hate losing Dante. Uh, I mean, and you know that we were going to lose Randall, but you know what? I'll take it. Give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. I think when you're adding bridges, uh, you know, it's going to be awesome. And I think that the ball will be moving around and there's going to be a lot of scoring. And, and I just, and like I said, we need a center anyway. And you got cat. So I'm digging it. But anyway, anything yeah. else, guys? Are we good? That's it. All no, right. Off the chest 84 at yahoo.com. And we will see you in a couple of weeks. I'm going to be in Italy. I'm going to be watching the Jet game from Italy. So on my phone, I've been watching. So, you know, we don't have any internet down here, so that's I'm the only the way they're they're used to. That's the only way you want to be watching them on your phone. So exactly. You can throw it. Exactly. All right, guys. Until we see, we'll, we'll see you in a couple of weeks from off my chest. Take care. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Mm-hmm.